Good evening. Uh, I've been meaning to try these for a little bit now, but I'm getting around to them. <laughs> uh, quite a backlog, actually, that I haven't uploaded yet by the time of this filming, but uh, this is one that Roland sent me. Uh, it's a purple Serrano. So it's got a little bit of a cool variegation with the kind of speckled purplish aspect to it. Now this that one's actually fared a little bit better than the other one that I'm going to try after this. Uh, these are still pretty firm. So, I'm going to pop off the old stem. They're not fully ripe yet. Uh, they do turn a like a smoky red color. Eventually they still maintain the purplish, but with the red background. So, I'm going to cut it open. See, I'm not sure how close it is to ripe. I'd like to get some seeds if I can. Uh, as per usual, the gloves is coming on. Okay. So, cut it open. Lengthwise it is. Looks like the seeds might be ready to go. In which case, I could procure at least some of them. Get the things off my glove here. Okay, so. Things are all over the place. Okay, so. Serrano. I just carved out seeds. I did not remove placental tissue. Okay. Two halves make two holes. Okay. Purple Serrano. Thanks again, Roland. Let's see how she be. Got a real raw, earthy, annuum flavor. Hints of cucumber. But down on grit. Hope that wasn't a piece of my tooth. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't have any teeth that are chipping that I know of. Uh, pretty mild heat, actually. It. It's uh, black peppery almost. Tip of the tongue. Moving back a little bit, a little warm in the throat. Not really anything going on down this far, so it's just kind of fanned out up. But yeah, pretty mild. Well, I'm going to cut open the other one and see what's going on. I might eat both of these on camera here.
Yeah, this one, the seeds are not viable. They're kind of... It's been in my fridge for, I think, about two weeks now. So they're getting a little weird, which means that they weren't viable in the first place. So, yeah. The heat is actually dissipating really quickly. It's, there's not really much going on with it. So, round two, fight! This one not quite as ripe tasting. A little bit more bitterness to it. Just a pinch. It's not that big of a difference. But uh, flavor-wise, it's still, uh, quite a bit different than the other one. Still got that raw flavor. That er deep, earthy. Kind of like a poblano almost. But... Not really any heat. So, yeah, purple serrano. Um, I'm not sure what they'd be like when they're fully ripe. Sometimes they get hotter when they're ripe. Peppers in general, I mean. And sometimes they get milder when they're ripe. But yeah, a little bit on the lips. It didn't really kick it up at all with this other one, so it must not have been heat any heat in it yet. Oh yeah, all right. Take it easy, everybody. Thanks for ducking in here, and thanks, Roland, for sending me some cool new peppers to try. Uh, maybe I can get some viable seeds out of all these and grow them myself. Bye-bye.